Hello and welcome everyone. So, this is the sixth episode in my tutorial section, and this is on getting achieving an orbit around the moon. So, you want to speed up time here because this is just way too much. Um, you know, you, oh, there we go. Wow. Yeah, I almost, you know, destroyed the whole moon thing for everyone. Um, yeah, I got cat-like reflexes. So, when you want to achieve an orbit around the moon, you want to do a retrograde burn. A retrograde will pull this around. I don't need to set up a maneuvering node, but I will do it for the sake of, of the viewers. If you retrograde burn it's gonna take that line and pull it around the moon because you're slowing down and the, the moon is pulling on you it's pulling your ship around so you want to pull it you want it to pull it all the way around now this is gonna be a somewhat long burn as you can see you might want to you know pre you know start a little bit before it's not uh, like I said, it, you know, it, de it really just depends on how you feel about um, burning ahead of time. Um, I, I do it for most of my burns, but not everything. Certain stuff, it just really doesn't matter. And I'm going to speed up time a little bit and get it down to like 20 seconds now. There we go. Um, and I'm, I usually end it at about 20 seconds or 15 seconds just so you have a little bit of time to you know if you didn't already adjust your maneuvering nodes and stuff like that so I'm gonna start that burn and as you can see I should have started a little bit earlier but thank God I started it a little bit earlier now I just ran out of fuel again so I need to transfer fuel over I did not do that there we go look at that that's a good thing no, I'll stop that. I don't need any more. And, uh, X. There you go. We are in orbit around the moon. Now, we want to correct this orbit. Um, you know, you can see we're 192 here and 132 here. I want to make it about 90. So, I'm going to burn some more. And as you can see, I am burning on the retrograde. And 86 is all right. Um, I'll go and correct that. So now you can see I am moving to prograde. And prograde will increase this orbit size. So prograde. Now if you look, you can burn and it's increasing. And 91 is perfect for me. I don't need it exactly 90. Um, I'm not going to use RCS fuel, seeing how it is. I don't really, I kind of want to just keep it as what it is, because sometimes you need it for landing. Um, the ship is very stable, so it's not going to be much of a problem, but I use it sometimes when you get, when you land right on the surface, and if your ship rocks around a little bit, you can use it to correct that just slightly. Um, now you can watch this, and it's moving over to retrograde. Retrograde is not what we want to do here or actually it is what we want to do here I take that back it we want to burn retrograde to pull this all the way down to 91 because that's what our orbit is going to be so as you, I'm a little bit past this node you don't need to be perfectly on the nodes when you when you're first starting off you know you just do your burns and you don't look there we go that's I'm okay with that. Um, uh, I'll go around again just to get over here to kind of fix that. I like doing my burns on the note, like on the uh, aprolapsis and um, pro. What is it? The aprolapsis and the periapsis. I always mispronounce those. I I, I should just like yeah. So. I'm, I'm hoping by now you guys understand 
what the aprolapsis and the periapsis do. And what prograde and retrograde will do to your orbits. Silential dog. <laughs> um, anyways, now let's bring that down a little bit. And if you look, that is a very, very good orbit. To, to me, that's a pretty decent orbit. I mean, the fluctuation is only about, what, 700, 600 um, meters, which isn't very much. Now, um, I'm going to talk about setting up a landing point on the moon. And if you look, we have our moon base alpha right here. But the best thing you can do is when you're trying to do a pinpoint landing, which I'm actually somewhat good at now because of landing all these pieces on the moon. As you guys can see, there's a piece that I landed here. And the distance between here and here is about seven or eight kilometers, which to me, you know, I got rovers to drive that. That's like six minutes worth of driving to get there, um, real time. So that's not too bad. Well, I mean, if you're using a rover to get around, it's like, you know, that's just a drop in the bucket. Um, you can see we have our moon lab here, which it's not a complete state space station. So I'll show you guys moon lab when um, I plan on adding on to it. So you can see our orbit, we're just going around. And I'm going to wait until moon base alpha gets more into the lit up, you know, because right now, you know, we're, we're sort of, it's like halfway. It, it was more closer to the dark side of the moon you know because the the sun is over here so the you know this all is the only side that's going to be really lit up and landing in the dark is not a fun thing i will tell you that i have done it before and i will tell you it's probably the most scary thing you'll do in this game it, it you literally can't even see you, you all you can base it off is your altitude and if you don't really know the altitude of the area then you're gonna just smash right into the ground and not unless if you're going in like you're basically constantly burning your engine and you're keep maintaining like 10 meters per second all the way down which I, I would say you're gonna basically use all your fuel to do something that you know if you were on the light side you could probably do with half of the amount of fuel Now, um, if you look at our orbit, it's a little off in a sense. So if you want to, if I were to want to fix that, let's say if I were to set this as a target, you can see our fluctuation is, um, on this side is negative, uh, 2.1. Whereas on this side, it's 2.1 as well. It will always correspond with the other side. Now, if I were to want to fix that, I would set up a node right here. And this is where these come into play a lot. I would want to burn, you know, I would have to do a burn almost straight up. And it would correct that by making it zero. I am not going to do that because I need to land at moon base alpha. So I'm going to have to change my orbit to be more over the top of where that is. I'm going to unset this as a target just so you guys aren't confused. Oh, whoops. I guess you guys will get to see Moon Base Alpha for a second. Ah, there it is. I'll talk about more of it later. Um, let's go back. Um, so, here we go. I say um a lot. You guys probably are like, uh, why does he keep doing that? So, Let's fix this orbit so we are over moon base alpha. There we go. Now if you look, I kind of, I kind of got a little bit more uh, altitude on this side. Or, you know, my orbit increased a little bit in size. And that just has to do with the fact that you're burning your engines. Um, and you're changing your, uh, your orbit. 
So I'm going to do that burn right now for you guys, and my next episode will be on landing. So, I'm going to speed up a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to I'm going to get a little bit closer. There we go. Yeah, you can see our burn is in 2 seconds. 1. And like for these I don't like you just noticed I didn't and, you know, I overshot it a little bit. That's what I wanted to do, though. And there's always a reason for everything I do, for the most part. Not unless if it's just, like, an explosion. Then, I'm, you know, nobody likes explosions. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, next episode will be Landing.